Okay, now that we have uh, had all the fun filling the hole under the tub, <laughs> and the uh, pipe is sealed, the fan is running, I'm going to check the manometer reading here, see if that fan is big enough uh, to still create a good negative pressure here, since we were also pulling from under the garage floor with it now. So. Oh, and that's fantastic. Negative 77 thousandths, that's fantastic, I'd be happy with 10. Uh, 77 is great. So that ought to be quite adequate. And a little dab of caulk in our test hole. We don't want another radon entry point left open. get a fitting on it. Yeah. I was going to run straight across over on the end, but while I was walking around looking up and down was well, we had that other roof pitch going off at a different angle. Uh, and there's probably a, an overhang where that roof overhangs this one on the back. So we don't want to come up under the overhang with the vent because that just reflects a lot of the noise back down makes the system noisier so swinging it over this way a couple of feet will miss that overhang on the roof and make sure we have a pitch on the pipe we're going to have we'll always have condensation in the pipe from soil moisture um, so we want to have a pitch from the vent pipe back to the floor in the basement it has to be a negative pitch all the way to the drainage and unfortunately, we're going to have to wait to do the roof penetration because it's raining pretty hard. Uh, not a good time to cut a hole in the roof. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up and mark it so that everything will be ready when I come back to just hop up here and cut the hole and run the pipe out. Okay. That will be the center of our exhaust pipe. Now we're going to install a YouTube manometer which does the same thing as the digital manometer we were using on the floor downstairs. It measures pressure differences, not radon. But uh, this will tell us the difference between the pressure inside the pipe and outside, which basically is an indication of fan performance. So we want to get that set on zero to start with. And if it ever looks like that, after the system's in place, that means the fan's not running or there's no air moving in the pipe. Resistance there is to airflow. So let's just figure out how much air system is moving. The higher that is, the, the more resistance there is, the harder the fan's working. The lower that is, the better the airflow. So we're moving, we're moving air pretty freely there with a half inch of resistance. That's a, that's a good sign. Okay, now we're going to add some pretty pink caulk to the top and the bottom of the uh, wall penetration and the ceiling penetration. This is fire caulk because we do have a firewall between the living area of the house and the garage. Alright, we labeled the breaker as we're supposed to and I'm going to put a st sticker on this pipe right here so if anyone needs to know what this is it will be marked. And just for looks I have a little trim ring to put on here to cover up some of that caulking, just to neaten it up a little. I'm going to put the label next to the manometer. It says call for service of 
both sides read zero. That's if the fan quits. That red liquid will be even on both sides again. Has the date for the warranty purposes and our company name and phone number is on there. And the initial vacuum pressure reading here, so if there's a significant change, the homeowner can give us a call and we can uh, take a look at it. Uh, well, now the rain is cleared off, so we're back to finish the roof penetration here, get this system finished up. Um, going to run a pilot bit up first and go outside and see if I can uh, see that from the ground to make sure it's a good location for the vent pipe. Come down into the yard next door and we were able to see where the pilot bit is. Uh, looks like it's clear of the soffit and the pipe should stick up a little above where the other roof joins in so we don't have any concern about noise or being reflected or moisture collecting on the soffit there. Can we get our template here that has markings for different roof pitches to center the template. And there we have a new skylight. You see our other eave comes out to just the other side of this 2x4, so we're several inches from there and the pipe's going to be a little bit above it. We prepare this uh, cozy collar. We don't normally use these roof boots, just when we have a difficult roof, a steep, steep pitch or a high roof or something where it's much safer and easier just to do this than to get on the roof. We normally would put a roof boot on from up above, but I'm going to start the, get the corner studs in. All right, and the way this works is there's a, a channel around on the roof, but it also has a soft rubber flap that'll seal down to the shingles, but this groove here is made to hold the uh, gasket sealer. And then when we put this on, we have a plate and some bolts, uh, nuts, so we'll tighten that down and pull it tight against the roof deck. Put the cover plate on that pulls it tight against the roof deck. Okay. Double check, I don't see any daylight coming in around between the boot and the pipe. So we're in good shape. All right, that wraps up this job. We had a few little uh, unusual circumstances, some setbacks with getting materials, so it uh, wasn't a one-day installation like they normally are, but uh, we got it done. I'm expecting a good result. We have great airflow, uh, pretty quiet system. Pleased with the way it turned out, leaving a test kit with the homeowner to do a follow-up test with. Uh, I certainly want to encourage everyone else to get your house tested. Uh, it's a lot a good thing to do to avoid lung cancer. And around here we have a lot of houses that do have radon issues and you just don't know until you test. It doesn't matter if everyone in your neighborhood does or does not have a radon issue. Uh, that tells you nothing about your house. So please get your home tested. Let your loved ones know they need to test. Uh, if we can help you, give us a call. Uh, radon control products. We're in North Carolina in Hendersonville. Uh, or check us out on the website, radoncontrolproducts.com. Thank you.